So the procedure for cracker thoracotomy using the scalpel finger bougie technique is to stabilize the larynx with your non-dominant hand. There's still some lateral movement of the larynx. I feel the spongy trachea, trachea, cricoid hard bump, cricothyroid membrane, or we can go from the thyroid notch, difficult to feel, and to the, to the space below. Cricothyroid membrane is the target. Uh, we then can uh, make a vertical incision. If it's uh, lots of subcutaneous tissue, we make a big incision. If it's obvious where the membrane is, we can make a smaller incision. But it's a vertical incision and then using that index finger to palpate the cricothyroid membrane and confirm its location. In this case, it's very clear and I'm happy. We then make a stab incision perpendicularly down one way. We rotate 180 degrees, another stab incision this way, scalpel out, finger in, and we're very happy that we're in the right place now. So we can grab our bougie, and the bougie goes in alongside our finger, uh, and we can confirm that it, the finger is still in the right space and the bougie is going down easily. I can feel it going down inferiorly, so I'm happy. I then can put the tube down. And that goes in nice and till the balloon disappears. Um, we can then take the bougie out, inflate the cuff, and we're ready to ventilate. Uh, we can check the depths of our tube. We can still see the, the one of the PTT markings here, so we're probably good. We've just seen the balloon disappear, no deeper. Um, and we can confirm and have a look. Uh, yes, uh, it's not beyond the carina. A lot of people push it in too far, and we're there at, uh, we end up with a main stem bronchus. Um, usually we can see something here to know we're in the right spot.